One of the most important factors in designing your solar system is choosing the best panel for your roof. Every roof is different and the best panel for one may not be the best for another and choosing the wrong model could have a real tangible impact on the generation and therefore profits that you make from your solar system. Two panels have really dominated the UK solar industry this year, the Aiko Neostar 3 and the Urena Nexa, but now there's a new competitor and it's come from a brand that already produces more panels than anyone else on the planet. In this video, I'm going to tell you all about the new Longi S10, and then I'm going to compare it to the Ico Neostar 3 and the Urena Nexa 500 to find out if the new S10 is the king of solar in the UK. Before I get into telling you all about this panel, if you've got solar, please do take a moment to comment which solar panel you've installed on your roof and why you chose it. And if you're looking at getting a solar system, I'd be really interested to know which panel you're looking to install. Longi has been the largest solar panel manufacturer in the world for several years now, and it's known for producing huge volumes of reliable, good value panels. But until now, it hasn't really stepped into the premium residential space. The S10 changes that completely. It's Longi's first truly high-end panel that's been designed to compete directly with the most advanced modules in the world. The S10 range runs from 490 up to 505 watts, with a top spec module efficiency of around 24.7%, which puts it right alongside the top performers on the market. The module that's currently available in the UK is the 495 watt, which is 24.3% efficient. However, the 24.5% efficient 500 watt panel should be available mid-2026. 24.5% efficiency is really high, and there's a key reason behind how Longi has managed to achieve this. You see, solar panel efficiency is measured in power output per meter squared. To calculate that, in a lab, you shine a thousand watts of light per meter squared onto a solar panel and simply measure what is outputted. If 250 watts is outputted per meter squared, then the efficiency of the panel is 25%. So then, to get the most power output per meter squared out of a solar panel, you have to try and get as much of the front area of the panel to be generating electricity as possible, and not waste space with anything that isn't doing that. Longi has taken advantage of a new technology called All Back Contact Technology, where all the internal connections on the panel are on the back, with none on the front. That's allowed them to dedicate more of the space on the front of the panel to actually generating electricity, thus making their panels more efficient. It also gives the panel a clean, deep black finish on the roof that looks incredibly sleek. Another benefit of the all-back contact or ABC technology is that this panel has what we like to call advanced shade mitigation tech. This is very similar technology to that found in the Aiko Neostar 3 panel, and if you'd like the really technical explanation, then take a look at the video on screen now. To give you a very, very condensed summary, basically the ABC technology means that when the panel is shaded, instead of shutting off a whole third of the panel, as a normal panel would do, each cell can actually let electricity pass through it, even if it's shaded. This means the panel can perform far better in shaded conditions. Some of the videos that these panel manufacturers have released make it seem as though these panels are almost shade immune. I wouldn't go that far, but they do seem to outperform normal panels in shaded conditions. Again, watch that video to find out more. Another one of the standout specifications of this panel is its temperature coefficient. This is quite an important figure as it shows how the panel efficiency varies in different temperature conditions. Temperature coefficient is measured in percentage per degree Celsius and gives a figure for the performance drop off of the solar panel for every degree Celsius above 25 degrees. Now the S10 loses only 0.24% of power for every degree above 25 degrees, which is one of the best in the industry. In fact, there's only one other panel that I can think of that matches this temperature coefficient. All the other panels don't perform as well. This means the panel will have less of a performance drop off as it heats up when the sun is beaming down on it all day. The S10 also comes with a 30 year product and performance warranty. The performance warranty guarantees 88.85% of original output after 30 years, which is really competitive and shows Longi's commitment to fighting for the top spot in the premium panel market. 
So how does the Longy S10 compare to the two panels that have dominated the UK solar market this year? Well, before I get onto that, I want to quickly say that if you're looking at installing solar or battery, then please do get in touch with Spirit Energy. And either myself or my colleagues will give you a bespoke technical quotation that is tailored to your needs and maximizes the return that you're getting from your solar and battery. Do also check out the case study video series that we made, which runs through an entire Spirit Energy installation from the point of inquiry to the design, survey and install to see what you get when you request a quote with us. So how does the Longy S10 compare to the best panels already on the market? Let's put it side by side with two of the biggest names, the Ico Neo Star 3 and the Urena Nexa 500 watt bifacial. The Ico Neo Star 3 is currently available in the UK at 480 watts. The Longy S10 is available at 495 watts and the 500 watt panel will be here next year. The Urena Nexa is also a 500 watt panel. So they vary slightly, but in most cases, you can work out which panel is leading in each category. Aiko and Longi are both Chinese companies, while Urena is headquartered in Spain. Starting with efficiency, it's fair to say that Aiko is still the winner here. Their all black panel doesn't go up to 505 watts as Longi's does. However, they've managed to achieve 24.5% efficiency with only a 490 watt panel, which makes you think that they'd be able to get close to 25% efficiency with a 500 watt model. In fact, their non all black offering, the Neostar 3P, does hit 25% for a 500 watt panel. So they're a scratch ahead on efficiency. The Urena Nexa is a little lower at 23.1%. So in pure front side performance, Longi and Aiko are level at the top, while Urena sits slightly behind. This is due to the fact that the Urena is a top con panel and the Aiko and Longi are both all back contact panels. Next, we have temperature coefficient. And this is where the Longi S10 does come up trumps with a coefficient of minus 0.24% per degree Celsius. The Aiko Neostar 3S sits slightly behind at minus 0.26%, which is still excellent. The Urena Nexa is a bit higher at minus 0.29%. So the Longi will maintain slightly better output at higher cell temperatures, particularly on darker roofs that run warmer. Shade mitigation is another area worth focusing on, but it's a bit of a challenge to know whether one panel is better than the other. What I can say is that both the Longi S10 and the Aiko Neo Star 3 have advanced cell by cell shade tolerance. So they'll both lose less generation when in shaded conditions and they should have a smoother generation curve in the real world. Urena doesn't use this kind of shade mitigation. It relies on standard bypass diodes that isolate the panel into three zones. That's still fine in open sunlight, but it's not as strong as under patchy shade. An advantage that the Urena panel does have is the fact that it's bifacial, meaning the reverse of the panel can generate electricity as well. Now, I've not seen any conclusive real world tests on this. However, I don't expect that bifaciality makes a huge difference when the panel is mounted on a pitched roof about 16 centimeters off the surface of the roof, because not much light can actually get behind the panel for there to be any extra generation. If you do have a flat roof or a ground mounted system where the panels are pitched at 15 to 25 degrees off the roof or the ground, then this may well make a big difference because one row of panels will reflect light onto the back of the next row. The Urena data sheet claims that the bifacial side can add up to 10%. Other bifacial panels on the market talk about an additional gain of up to 30%, but it all depends on the real world conditions. Price-wise, the Longi does make a strong case. The S10 comes in at around 17.5 pence per watt. The Urena Nexa is cheaper at about 15 pence per watt, but it's also a less efficient panel without the advanced shade mitigation. The main competitor, the Ico Neo Star 3, costs around 18.8 .8 pence per watt. That's for the 480 watt model, and typically the price reduces a tad for the higher output models in a range. But either way, the Longi panel is about 5-7% to cheaper than the Neo Star 3. And this is maybe one of the advantages that Longi has being the largest panel manufacturer in the world. Overall, the Longi S10 has arrived as a serious challenger. On paper, it's the first proper competitor for Ico, which has pretty much dominated the market for the past two years with more advanced technology. 
it nearly matches Ico's efficiency, beats it on heat performance, matches it on shade resilience, and it's slightly cheaper. Both the Longy S10 and the Ico Neo Star 3 are great choices if you want a pure all black aesthetic and the absolute top tier technology. The Urena is a good value option and a smart choice for commercial or ground mounted systems that can take advantage of the bifacial gain. If you found this video helpful, please do like and subscribe and check out our other videos to learn more about solar and battery. And of course, request a quote from Spirit if you're interested in installing solar or battery at your own home or business.